Hey, grade 5 students, welcome to the third science lecture video in semester 2. And before I start, Happy New Year to all of you. I miss you so much. So, what do different animals feed on? What do different animals eat? We have different kinds of organisms. Organisms can be producer, decomposer, or consumer. Producers are also called autotrophs since they are organisms that produce their own food via the food making process called photosynthesis. By photosynthesis, plants use their roots to absorb water from the soil, the stomata of their leaves to take in carbon dioxide, and they use the sunlight energy to combine carbon dioxide with the water and to form their food, which is a kind of sugar called glucose, and release oxygen into the atmosphere. Decomposers are also called nature cleaners since they clean nature from dead organisms. Decomposers such as fungi, um, insects, bacteria break down dead bodies into minerals. Consumers are the third type of organisms. Consumers consume their food, eat their food, and there are three different types of consumers. Herbivorous animals that feed on plants only, carnivorous animals that feed on animals only, omnivorous animals feed on plants and animals. Producers produce glucose. Decomposers decompose dead bodies. Consumers consume plants and animals this is for this is to get the energy that they need to live so food is the source of energy for all living things producers use the glucose that, that, that they made to make the energy that they need decomposers use their bodies as a source of energy and consumers use their food the food that they consume to produce the energy they need. Let's take a look on this. We have four different organisms. A green plant. The green plant is a producer since it gets the energy it needs from the food it produces. The slug is an animal that feeds on green plants. It's a consumer. It gets energy from the food it consumes, and in this case, it consumes the green plant. The frog is another consumer that feeds on slugs. Frogs get the energy they need from the food they consume, in this case, from the slug. The heron, which is a kind of bird, feeds on frogs. It consumes the frogs and it gets the energy from the frogs they consume. So, the green plant is eaten by the slug. The slug is eaten by the frog. The frog is eaten by the heron. That's what we call a food chain. A food chain shows how each living thing gets food and how energy is passed from one living thing to another. A food chain shows again how each organism gets its food. Usually or always it starts with a green plant which is a producer and which is eaten by an animal. A food chain ends with an animal. Here is the producer which is the green plant. The last animal in here is the heron. Here we have the food chain again. The green plant is eaten by the slug, the slug is eaten by the frog, the frog is eaten by the heron. What's the name of the producer in this food chain? The green plant is the producer. What, why do food chains start with a producer? Okay, let's think about it. Can green plants get the food they need or the energy they need from other organisms? Do they consume? Do they take um, energy or food from other organisms? No, they don't. 
they produce their own food to get their energy. They don't need any other organisms to help them. So they use the energy of the sun, the sunlight energy, to go through photosynthesis and to produce their own food. The three consumers in this food chain are the slug, the frog, and the heron. The slug feeds on green plants, so it's a herbivorous animal. The frog eats slugs, the heron eats frogs, so both frogs and heron are carnivorous animals. The green plant produces its own food to get the energy it needs. This energy passes to the slug when the slug eats the green plant. Then this energy passes to the frog when the frog eats the slug. Again, when the heron feeds on the frog, the energy in the frog moves to the hair. In game. Instructions. Drag the parts of the food chain to their correct place. If you drag something incorrectly, it won't stay there. Visit the food chain pages to get ready or if you need help. When the chain is complete, it will come play, to life play and the game. watch the food chain in action. Play. Number one. Simple chain. Flower, caterpillar, bird, two, number two, try the next chain. chain, acorns, mouse, Snake Hawk Finished number three on to the next chain Algae Small fish Big fish. Dolphin. Let's build a food chain together. This food chain starts with a fly. Which of the following animals eat flies for food? Flowers, deer, frogs, or owls? Frogs. Yes, you're correct. Frogs eat lots of insects like flies for food. Which animal would make a meal out of frog? Do snakes eat frog? Do deers eat frog? Do cows eat frog? Or lions? What do you think? I will choose the snake. This is correct. Carnivorous animals like snakes eat frogs. This is a garter snake that eats small frogs for food. Which of the following would eat a snake for food? Is it the bee, the salamander, the woodpecker, or the hawk? Hawks are carnivorous animals that would make a nice meal out of a snake. So, our first food chain is complete. The fly is eaten by the frog. The frog is eaten by the snake. The snake is eaten by a hawk. Let's build another food chain. Which of the following uses sunlight to grow? Is it the fungus, grass, lizard, 
or another fungus. As you know, green plants such as grass need sunlight energy to produce their own food, which is a kind of sugar called the glucose. Which of the following animals would eat plant leaves, grass, fish, deer, frog, or owl? The deer is a herbivorous animal that eat plant leaves for food. Which animal would try to catch the deer for food? Is it the lion? This porcupine? Bird or the raccoon? I will choose the lion since lions are carnivorous animals that eat meat such as deer. Okay, here is the second food chain. It starts with the grass, with a producer. The grass is eaten by the deer. The deer is eaten by the lion. Here is another food chain. It starts with a producer, which is the grass. The, the producer or the grass is eaten by the grasshopper. The grasshopper is eaten by the frog. The frog is eaten by the snake. The snake is eaten by the hawk. The producer is eaten by the primary, the first consumer. So the first consumer is a herbivorous animal. Since number one, first element in a food chain is always a plant. So the second element, element, which is the primary consumer, should be a herbivorous animal that feeds on plant. The secondary consumer, the second consumer, is a carnivorous animal that feeds on animals. The apex predator is the last element in a food chain. It's the last one and it is called apex predator because it is, it's not eaten by any other consumer. When grass, grasshopper, frog, snake, hawk die, they will be decomposed by decomposers. Their bodies will be decomposed by decomposers. Decomposers return mineral and energy to the soil. How does energy flow in an, in an ecosystem? It's because of the presence of food chain. Here is a desert food chain. We have a producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer, and the apex predator, which is the last one not eaten by any other organism. Green plant is eaten by the grasshopper. The grasshopper is eaten by the mouse. The mouse is eaten by the snake. The snake is eaten by the hawk. Here is another food chain. It's an ocean food chain. Algae, algae tiny consumers, shellfish, Small fish, large fish, killer whale. The algae is the algae are eaten by tiny consumers. Tiny consumers are eaten by shellfish. Shellfish are eaten by small fish. Small fish are eaten by large fish. Large fish are eaten by killer whale. Let's take a look on the large fish. The large fish is eaten by the killer killer whale. So we say that the large fish is the prey of the killer whale. The large fish is the prey of the killer whale. The prey is the animal that gets eaten by the predator. So in this case, the killer whale is the predator. The large fish is the prey. In another side, the large fish eats the small fish. So the large fish is the predator of the small fish. The predator is the animal that eats others. Here, large fish are prey and predators at the same time. Large fish are prey of killer whales, but they are predators 
of small fish. An energy pyramid shows how much energy passes from one level of a food chain to the next level, going from bottom to top. So this is a food chain shown as a pyramid. In the first line, we have the producers, which are the grass in this case. The rabbits in here are the primary consumers. The snakes are the secondary consumers. And the last, on the top, we have the tertiary or the apex predators, which are the hawks right here. Okay? And this simulation will let us explore the food chain. And let's see how we can affect the balance of the nature. Okay, I will use this table and let's first of all check how the number of organisms uh, change in nature. So look, with the time, the number of grass, rabbits, snakes and hogs do not change since um, nature is in balance. Let's try, for example, to decrease um, the number of grass. I will be killing the grass. And we will see if killing grass will affect the balance of nature. Okay, let's see. As you can see, the number of rabbits, of snakes, so we killed rabbits, we killed snakes, we killed also hawk. And now there, are, there is no one eating the grass and look at the number of grass. So hunting an organism breaks the food chains. This causes imbalance in nature, which is something so dangerous. When we kill grass, when we kill too much, um, the number of uh, all the elements of a food chain will be affected. Okay, let's repeat this, but I will be killing rabbits. Okay, I will remove almost all the rabbits in this food chain. And let's see, will this affect the balance of nature? Will this break the food chain? So look at the number of the snakes. We killed the rabbits, we killed the snakes, and now hawks will die. No one to eat the grass, and this caused imbalance in nature. So we should be careful because all elements of a food chain are connected together and uh, the movement of energy in a food chain is or depends um, uh, on all of the food chain elements. This was our lesson. Was it hard? I don't think so. What's a producer? Producers are autotrophs. These are the green plants that produce their own food by photosynthesis. Decomposers break down dead bodies for food, for energy. Consumers are classified into three different categories. Herbivores feed on plants only and don't forget, herbivorous animals are classified into five classes. Herbivores, 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 granivores, herbivores, sapsuckers, herbivores, fragivores, and herbivores, nectarivores. Carnivorous animals, animals that feed on meat only, on other animals, are also classified into five categories. Carnivore, 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 insectivore, carnivore, bloodsucker, carnivore, piscivore, carnivore, scavenger. Omnivorous animals feed on plants and animals. Okay, living things are arranged in food chains. Green plants or producers are eaten by primary consumers. Primary consumers are eaten by secondary consumers. Secondary consumers are eaten by tertiary consumers. 
casual consumers are eaten by apex predators. Apex predators aren't eaten by any other organism. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. For any question, please contact me. You all have my number and I will be glad to help you. See you.